hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for the love today i'll be showing you how i made this tutu skirt for my daughter's sixth birthday if this is your first time here you're highly welcome if you would like to see how i embellished a shoe please leave a comment in the comment section and i'll be glad to make a video of it so my old subscribers i say a big thank you for the massive love and for the support please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are yet to let's get into the video so guys i'm going to be showing you how to make tutu skirts with elastic waistband so to make it you will need your lining i'm using this satin as my lining you need your tool and the tool i'm using is 11 inches long so um, to two skirts you need three measurements you need your waist hip and the length measurements so for the waist the waist i'm working with is 21 inches so i'm actually making it for my daughter who is five but currently turning six so the waist is 21 inches the hip is 27 inches and the length of the skirt will be 12 inches so now to cut out our lining we will be using the hip circumference now I'm going to be doing a half circle, half circle skirt for the um, lining. So to cut your half circle, you are going to, um, your hip measurements, you're going to add maybe four or five inches for ease. So I am adding four inches to mine. The hip measurement I'm working with is 27 inches. So I've added four inches, I'll add four inches to it, which will give me 31 inches. Now for half circle skirt, you have to divide that measurement with 3.14 if it's full circle you will divide it by 6.28 or because this is half circle i'm going to divide it by 3.14 so if i divide 31 by 3.14 i'm going to have 9.87 i'm going to approximate the 9.87 to be 10 inches so let me show you how you're going to fold your fabric so now once you open up your fabric you're just going to fold it into two so now when i'm putting my fabric on fold into two i'm going to make sure like because i'm cutting away 10 inches which is the circumference plus the actual length which is 12 inches so i'm going to leave it at that 12 inches because because by the time i fold it it will become a bit shorter so it's 10 inches plus 12 inches so we'll have 22 inches this you need in total i'm just going to measure from this tip up to 22 inches and then put your fabric on fold like so so now from this point i'm going to mark 22 round just going to start marking it 22 to leave the tip on this point and then move this one and mark 22 again make sure the tip is on that point mark another 22 i'm going to mark 22 round So after marking it round like so, I'm going to come here and mark my second fence, which is 10 inches. Still put your tape on that point and mark 10 inches round. So after marking it, I'm going to cut it out. So this is basically how to cut a half circle skirt. So all I need to do is I will close here this side. So now I'm just going to measure what I've cut out. So you see it's more than the waist. The reason we are using the hip circumference, not the waist circumference, because it's elastic I'm putting on the waist. I'm not putting band. If I was using band, then I would have used the waist circumference to cut out uh, the radius. So now I'm going to measure what I have. So I have about 35 inches, about 36 inches, and I'm working with a waist of 21. So you want the waist to be bigger than its actual self because if the waist is the exact measurement you used to cut it, when you are wearing it on the child, it won't pass the hip because the hip is wider than the waist. 
so now that we have this i'm just going to set this one aside and then we're going to cut the tool so for the tool i'll be leaving the link to where you can buy this too on aliexpress that's where i got it but i'll be dropping the link in the description box so now i'm going to measure four yards which cut four yards into four places because i want the skirt very full so if you buy five yards of normal two or even four yards of normal two it will be able to make exactly this skirt so with that mean what i mean is if you don't get this type even if it's a normal two so now i'm just going to measure And then I will cut. I'll go ahead and measure another four yards and cut. I'll measure four yards in four places. So now that I have measured four yards separately, I'm going to go ahead now and gather them separately too. So now I measured this one and I know that it, it was 36 inches in the waist. So when I do my gathers, I'm going to make sure that it's 36 inches too. After gathering, I'll make sure that it's 36 inches too. So I'm going to gather the four pieces that I've cut out, 36, 36 inches into four places. So now I'm going to start by running the down part of the skirt. So now I'm going to close it. I'm just closing it with like about half an inch. So now we're just going to set this one aside. This is it. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to set it aside and then I'll start doing gather stitch for the two. So now, once I'm done with the gather stitch, I'm just going to draw it to form the gathers to be careful so it doesn't cut so once i'm done drawing the gathers i'm going to measure it and make sure it's the six inches and then i'll go ahead and secure my gathers down with um, a tighter stitch So now after doing my gathers, I'm going to close it too. I'm going to close this step too. Just close it with half an inch. So guys, I'm done doing all the gathers on the two. You can see one, two, three, four, and then the lining i'm going to take my lining this is my lining so now i'll take my two and i will step them on top of each other now that i've closed the back of my two now i'm going to make sure that all the backs they are together that's the joining just going to make sure they are together can go ahead and press this two after pressing this two you put the third one on top press it put the fourth one on top and press it so or you can press all together at once but if you know it's going to be difficult for you then you press it one after the other so i'm going to go ahead and press mine one after the other so guys i'm done joining everything together this is it 
I'm going to take the lining now and then I look for the back. I'm just still going to press it. I'm just put the lining inside and then press it round too. So guys, I'm done attaching the lining inside. So guys, I've cut out this piece of use it as the band. Well, I cut out four inches. So and I just like folded it and ironed it down so it would look like so. So now I'm going to sew it around. Before I sew it around, I'm just going to join it. So I'm not just going to join it like this, no. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it. After sewing it automatically to close back. And then I'm just going to press it. I'm going to start from the back and sew it around. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to leave one inch where I'm going to insert the elastic. So guys, I'm done fixing the band and I've just left this small space where I'm going to be passing the elastic. So now I'll go ahead and insert my elastic. I'm just using this white elastic. So for the elastic, I cut out 18 inches because the actual waist is 21 inches and I took take 3 inches from it because you want it to snug to the child's waist. So I'm using 18 inches length of elastic. So guys, I'm done passing the elastic and I actually used um, chalk to mark um, the amount I need, the amount of elastic. The, normally the waist measurement just deduct like 3 or 4 inches away from the waist measurement and then this is it. I'll go ahead now and join my elastic together. So guys, we're almost done with the skirt. I'm just going to be using this ribbon to create a bow. Create a bow. So to create a bow, I'm just going to flip it on my hand like so and cross it over like so. So you have this. It will cross like so. And now you just tack it like so. Leave this one here. And I'm going to cut it. Go ahead and do a smaller one on top of it. So I'm done making the bow, I'm just going to tack it. So I have this um, applique rhinestone kind of, so I'm going to be coming it. comes in different colors and it has purple. This is what the purple looks like. I'm going to be, going to be coming it in the middle. I'm going to come it right here. Because it doesn't have any hole to tuck it down. No hole to tuck it down, so I'll just gum it. So that's it for this little skirt. 